Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode Series. Today we are here with part 52 at New Hampshire for the Foxwoods Casino 301. It is going to be an interesting one because as you can see, I hit my goal time and got myself a 15th place qualification. The best of the season so far for myself. So I had huge expectations for myself for this race here as Martin Trix Jr. gets the pole. He actually won both stages and won the race last season at this track. Of course, MTJ still win this. But we have some big news to break here as Daniel Kvyat has announced he will be leaving NASCAR and the 26 Red Bull Racing team at the end of the season as he seeks for a move back into open wheel racing. Uh, I always wanted to give NASCAR a try, but I found that this style of racing is not for me, Kvyat said. So, Red Bull Racing have also announced that the 20-year-old Harrison Burden will be taking over Kvyat in the 26. Red Bull Racing also announced they will have a much stronger alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing in 2022 and the foreseeable future. So, very, very interesting stuff going on with that number 26 Red Bull Racing Toyota. Obviously, you got drivers that will come and go, but the green flag is out here. At New Hampshire, we are underway. We have a race that I am so excited for today because we obviously did very well at this track last season. We were up in sixth place um, up until a late race caution came out. We came to pit road and um, unfortunately we got the strategy wrong. Uh, I believe the caution was actually the stage two caution. And uh, yeah, everyone took two tires, we took four, ended up back in the pack and only got back up to 12th. But as you can see, already on the start, getting under Kurt Busch, Newman, Larson, and I, I believe that was Chastain in the 42. But yeah, we get past all those drivers there and now up into 12th position now, looking for 11th already. This is get a little bit low there, but it does seem like we will be able to battle this six car very tightly here, looking for that 11th spot. So a very good start. And I've been very good at this track, um, obviously, in the first season, and I just love this track. Especially in Heat 4, I was uh, very uh, good at this track as well in the 5-star equipment. So, hopefully with 4-star equipment, we'll see how we go. But, up into 11th position, and as we teleport later into Stage 1, we actually have hit the white flag of Stage 1. We're in 8th position, so we moved all the way up to 8th. Uh, nothing really interesting happened with the passing, so... Um, yeah, we were trying to catch the group ahead of us, but couldn't really make our way there as Joey Logano found himself in the lead right now in stage one, and it looks like he will be able to come off of turn four and onto the front stretch to win stage one. So congrats to Joey Logano, but I'm very excited because we are up in eighth place from 15th. So can we get even more in the second stage? We'll have to find out, but yeah, very happy with the car right now, obviously. Well, boys, we have a very fast race car today, so let's go and win this thing. Oh, man, loosen her up a little bit, and I think we should be good to go. Let's see if we can get this baby to the front. So there you heard AJ Smith on the radio, of course, very confident and happy with how the car is right now. Just loosening up a little bit so that we can obviously turn the car more in the corner, and hopefully now... We will actually crack the top five and maybe even challenge for the win. But starting on the outside is going to be challenging here as already we find ourselves trying not to run into the back of Kevin Harvick. But we do get to the outside of Kyle Busch here and we will clear him. But now Christopher Bell pulls up in front of us and because Kurt Busch gets to his inside, he's going to stay ahead of us. So it kind of pauses our run going into that corner and we almost get into the back of him there actually coming off of turn four but we end up losing a spot off the restart here on this first lap and hopefully we can get it back as we send it down into the outside so um yeah we get uh, we're getting very good runs in the middle of the corner and going into the corner but going off is where the other cars seem to make their time up on me right now and obviously that 20 car was really in my way because i was getting a good run through the middle of the corner and yeah eventually i do bump into him there um, thankfully didn't cause any damage, uh, any significant damage at least, but yeah, right now getting held up and the only damage I'm getting right now is my chances to getting to the front here in this stage and once again that 20 car is just in the way and that actually did a little bit of damage to the car there, so very unfortunate, but obviously we're just trying to find a way to get around this number 20 and it's just been difficult, but finally I decided, you know what, I'm going to shove it way up high Get a good run through the corner, get to his outside, and maybe this time I can shove him down to the inside so then I can use my run on the outside getting past him here. And sure enough, we will 
finally get side by side with the 20 car here and coming off the corner we will get past him here so very nice up into p7 now and hopefully we can make some progress forward i'll catch you guys in a moment and there you go into the final lap or almost the final lap of stage two here and yeah there was a five car breakaway uh we managed to catch back up by the time we got to tri uh by the time we got to the end of the stage so Six laps was spent in fifth position trying to catch Trick Shin, and we finally actually got to him uh, on this final lap. So it showed me that we actually have some long run speed in this car as well, that we can actually be competitive in this race if it does go green. And now we are to the back of Trick's bumper here. As now I look to send it into the corner here to see, you know, what our sending power is when it comes to late in this race. And Right, we got up alongside the 19, but it wasn't quite enough to get there. But it was good to see that it stuck the bottom there, so we'll keep that as a mental note. But Kevin Harvick does win stage two here in Loudoun. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Harvick. Uh, he is looking for his fourth win on the season this uh, race, so we'll see if he can go and get that. But once again, I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. I get two right side tires, repair the damage, lose a spot, so... Sixth place here, I don't lose all my track position back into the 20s, so thankfully we'll be in contention for this one here as Green Flag is back out. We are back racing here for the final time in Stage 3. Hopefully, we can find ourselves up here. Now, Martin Trix Jr. goes a bit to the outside. I send it to the inside of him in the middle of the three wide. I get into the back of Jabba Logano. I actually do a little bit of damage to the car, but already up into fourth position now battling with Eric, uh, sorry, Christopher Bell. In that 20 car, obviously. Calling him Eric Jones because that is who used to drive the car. But Eric Jones is my teammate here at Richard Petty Motorsports driving the 44. But we do get past the 20 of Bell. Now up in fourth position. And I can see the leaders ahead of me. I know it's been a quite some time since we've had seen the leaders in front of me. We're in a strikeable distance at a track that isn't Daytona at Talladega. But here we are looking to get up into the lead here if we can but we're gonna send it now to the inside of Joel Logano we can't waste too much time behind these guys uh Elliot and Logano because then Harvick will pull away and eventually win so looking to the inside of Joel Logano now battling side by side with the 22 car here and now obviously I, I need to get past him at this point so I'm gonna send it again to his inside I'm gonna slide up a little bit do a little bit of a slide job on him and uh we do get past the 22 car so up into p3 in the podium position here with uh, ourselves coming to 10 laps to go. So it is going to be very interesting to see if we can actually get the long run speed to catch Harvick and Elliott here. We'll have to find out as we now come off the corner to complete lap number 29. So we rejoin here back uh, in lap 31 and I send it to the inside of Chase Elliott. I managed to stick with the two cars in front of me and here we go. We actually get past the nine car up into P2. And now I set my sights for that lead car of Kevin Harvick. Four times already I have finished second in this career mode. I am not about to let this happen again. I want to chase down that four car, but do we have enough time to do so? This is obviously would be my first win of the career mode in 57 races it's been. Of course, we missed the Las Vegas due to COVID-19, but... Yeah, now we're trying to set our sights on the four of Kevin Harvick, but as you can see, he's got quite a considerable gap to us, and he pulled away there as well, so we'll see if we can catch him, but lap by lap, we managed to keep the gap. We couldn't uh, gain anything on him, but it was getting to the point now where the car was getting to that long run stage where I was able to make up a lot of time through the corners, and as you can see, I made a considerable bit of distance up there in turn one and two, so I was thinking to myself at this point, we have a chance at winning this, and as we send it into three and four, we are there on the back of Kevin Harvick now trying to get to his inside or outside at this point. I was running both lanes pretty well, so it's going to be between me and a Cup Series champion to duke it out here in New Hampshire. Obviously, Harvick is good at this track as well, so it's going to make it even harder now, but we are right on his bumper coming out of turn two here on lap 38. Coming to the final lap, I decided, you know what? We sent it earlier, it's stuck, and it's going to stick yet again to the inside of Harvick. We are looking to take the lead, and there you go, AJ Smith to the lead here at New Hampshire as we are going to come across the line to take the white flag, and the race is over. A caution happened in the back of the pack. I couldn't find a replay of what happened, but the race is over. We've fucking done it. We won.
Oh my god, I'm so happy. I could not believe this. We managed to track down Kevin Harvick, and as soon as we took the white flag, the caution came out, the race is over. We get to do a burnout here in Loudoun. Oh, wow. The Hollywood Foxwoods Casino 400. Oh, sorry, 301 is ours. And yeah, oh, I'm absolutely beside myself. Um, but yeah, did some burnouts there. I managed to blow the engine, actually, eventually, doing so many burnouts. But I decided to pull up to the flag stand, and there you go. We get the win here in New Hampshire. Kevin Burke here with AJ Smith. AJ, you have finally managed to get yourself into victory lane. Tell me, how does it feel to celebrate this first win of your career? Oh, man, how amazing is this? Oh, finally, we have brought this car in victory lane where it belongs. I want to thank my team so much for giving me such an amazing car today. We've continued to put in great performances this past few weeks, and finally, we have brought this car back where it belongs the 43 in victory lane of course i want to thank richard petty himself as well and jack daniels for their continued support in me this season and over the past year so it has been absolutely amazing to win for them today obviously i want to thank all the fans out here in the stands for coming and witnessing such an amazing day for myself and this organization so yeah thank you to everybody this means the world to me and hopefully we can go out there and get a win next race so there you heard from AJ Smith, who is absolutely beside himself, and why wouldn't you be after getting your first career win in the NASCAR Cup Series? It has been long and painful this way, but we have finally done it here at New Hampshire today. Obviously, here are your final race results, and you can have a look at where everyone finished. But yeah, uh, I just want to take a moment to talk about how thankful i am that we've gotten to the point where i actually won a race uh for you guys to see uh but yeah it's been a tough career so far but i'm glad that we've had this challenge it obviously makes this victory so much sweeter but there you go there is the summary finished first 618 grand 261,000 fans gained and oh there you go a little bit of a news article there aj smith earns his first nascar cup series victory at new hampshire when will he win next? Who knows? But there you go. Some tweets from drivers congratulating me. It's actually all drivers from Penske or Penske affiliated teams there. And then you got MTJ himself. And then Kyle Busch is mad at me because I hit him on one of the restarts. Well, you know what, Kyle Busch? I'll apologize for it because I'm in a good mood. You know why? Because I won. Finally. <laughs> I'm so happy that we finally win. And of course, the big picture here. We have made the playoffs now with this win, so we'll go in and give you a look at the updated playoff grid, and as you can see, Denny Hamlin out on top here with Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick on three wins, Joel Legan on two, and then your one win club with Elliot Bush, Kozlowski, AJ Smith, Austin Dillon, Newman, Sindrick, Suarez, Timmy Hill, and then there is your four drivers in on points, and I want to give a little bit of emphasis to the cutoff line right now, as you can see. We have a bit of a battle here for those last spots here in on points. And as you can see, we have Ryden Blaney out by 10. Benedetto out by 16 in that 55 card. Byron's out by 39. Briscoe out by 49. And Almorola out by 51. So it'll be interesting to see who gets into these sp final playoff spots uh, as the races wind down. Obviously, we have not very long to go here in the regular season. Of course, we have Michigan next, and then we only have three more races after Michigan until the regular season is over and the playoffs begin. So we'll have to find out who makes their way up into those final playoff spots here. Uh, but yeah, we will scroll down here, give you an update on Timmy Hill, who is quite a bit above Michael McDowell now. So awesome to see Timmy Hill doing well. And then we, of course, have Joey Gase rounding out the points in last position here. So... That'll wrap it up for today's momentous episode. Uh, it has finally come to the point where we have won, and I'm very thankful for it. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in Michigan. <laughs>